<laughs> Damn, I shouldn't have done that. Hey, um, young champions out there, y'all stay diligent in your craft. <laughs> My old coach used to tell me he trained six days a week on his on his on his craft muscles and one day a week on his beer muscles. But anywho, what's up, y'all? You ever seen a movie called uh I'm sure y'all have called uh damn what's the name of that movie with Brad Pitt is playing Achilles? Well that movie Troy. And there's one scene in the movie where he's talking to some little servant boy, little servant kid, and he said, I can't do that. I I'm afraid. I I'm not courageous enough like like you, um Achilles. And Achilles told the boy, That's why no one will remember your name. And I said, Dang. That's why no one will remember your name. You're not courageous enough. You don't want to take the risk. You, you, you're not shooting on all cylinders. You're not firing off. You're not uh, taking that chance. And all great champions must do that to achieve their goals, To be, especially to be undisputed. Y'all, be honest. Be courageous. You, you, you save yourself time when you're honest. You save yourself um, the agony when you're honest and when you're true. And I know a lot of times, being honest, we'll fuss, we'll, we'll bump it. We'll, we'll be un unedited here. It will fuck you up being honest, y'all. Now, now, that's the truth. There's a lot of people ain't trying to hear no true shit. And it'll, it, it'll, it'll burn some of your bridges. And it'll make your, your wifey cry. And it'll, um, you know, it'll, it'll upset a lot of people. So be careful. Because it's a hell of a, it's a hell of a, uh, it's a hell of a sword to swing. The truth. So y'all pick and choose when telling the truth, I should say. Now telling the truth is right and correct and I'm never ever saying to tell a lie or to tell a fib or to tell a story. But at times, avoid telling the truth if you can understand or, or give no comment at all. Y'all understand that? Um, let's say you come home late and you know your kids or, or, or your woman asks you, dang, well, what was that? Your friend's house at nine o'clock, you weren't there. Well, I mean, where were you? You don't have to tell them exactly where you were, but you just, you're telling the truth when you say, well, I wasn't there. You know, no comment. Well, like my dad used to say, well, baby, I was seeing a man about a dog, or I had to handle some business, or, you know, if I, if I tell you I gotta kill you. You know, just avoid telling the truth at times because it really will hurt some people, you know what I'm saying? But, but always be honest. Don't go out your way to lie. Now, On being truthful, excuse me, y'all, and courageous. That's what undisputed means, baby. This this is a another um, uh, addition to the undisputed series. I'm hearing all this undisputed talk, and it's right and exact. Y'all don't know when I listen to y'all videos about being undisputed. I'm pumping my fist when I hear them. I'm beating on my chest. I'm doing a cartwheel. And I'm swigging a brew. The last two undisputed champions in boxing, y'all, 2006. Can't believe it, and these are, I'm not going to say they're irrelevant fighters right now, but they're, 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 they're rarely heard of at the moment. And those those two men are Jermaine Taylor and Zab Judah, Zab D.L. Judah. Oh, and check this out, y'all. I've been working out of town, right? Just got back home. I, I work with Zab Judah's uncle. Ooh, I know he tired of me. I bother him every day. We talking, I'm asking stuff about Zab. I'm looking at Zab's family and, um, and you know baby pics and his name is Stanley Bell so shout out to Stanley Bell Stanley Bell was also um, a, 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 a very high ranked Golden Gloves amateur boxer he was a Golden Gloves and he was a, an Olympic alternate on that great 1984 Olympic team that had uh, you know Meldrick Taylor and Sweet Pea and, and, and uh, Mark Breland and all those uh, I think Holyfield anyway the Olympic team that had the four gold medalists so shout out to Stanley Bell. You know, every time I see him, I'm asking about Zab. I'm asking what happened with Zab in this fight. And he was telling me about the thing with Don King ripping them off. And, you know, Zab with the training. Um, and I come to find out that Zab's real name is is Bell. It's his uncle's name is Stanley Bell. And he, they changed his name from Zab D.L. Bell to Zab D.L. Judah because of um, religious beliefs. I said, well, damn, I heard Zab change back. Well, anyway, we're getting off topic. He said, you know, politics has a lot to do with boxing behind the scenes. And he, he really schooled me on a lot of things. But anyway, y'all, 
stay honest and and be true and be courageous. This is the only way you can be undisputed. So big shout outs to Terrence, Bud Crawford, and Julius Ndongo rep representing Africa. I can't remember the name of his country. But that dude, man, I see, I love the way how foreigners, I'm like, I can't call them foreigners, or men and women from other countries, it's almost like they're raised to be honest. They they speak in certain words and name language don't even exist in English, if y'all understand what I'm saying. You know, certain words like might or might can or possibly, they either know you do or you don't. And they speak straight up with you. They don't be speaking around and doing that political double talk and trying to sugarcoat and tell you this and then behind the scenes they mean something totally different. They keep it straight up right in your face and they to tell I want to beat them to win the title to be undisputed for Africa shout out to I want to tell them it's straight up you know what I'm saying and, 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 and he follows through with his actions man you gotta love that y'all you gotta love that I love that about Amanda Nunez I love that about Anderson Silva all my foreign brothers and sisters out there I stop saying for all my uh, I guess um, international brothers and sisters out there Y'all, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch the Pac-Man fight tonight. I might, but I'm in no rush to go see it. You know, the only thing I want to know is, will the winner face one of the top welterweight contenders? Will Jeff Horn or or Emmanuel Manny Pac Pacquiao face a welterweight champion or a top contender after this? That's all we need to know. Ah, right quick. Got into a little discussion with an older gentleman about Roy Jones Jr. And he he's a little bit of a casual, but at least he's a he's an older casual. So he has a little bit more time and experience and observation of boxing. He he's he's been a casual fan since about the 80s, 90s. Well, actually around the same time that I am, but you know, I'm a fanatic, you know, I'm a historian, so I, you know, I know a little bit more. But he remembers fights and, and outcomes. But he doesn't really know anything about the belts or the politics or fighters' records. He's just an older casual, so he has a bit more sense. Anywho. Confident, I can whip all of them. This ain't nothing new. My image is being confident. It's just time to make it look like something new for. I'm always confident I can whip all of them. Y'all must have forgot. Y'all say I don't fight nobody. I just make them look like nobody. Y'all must have forgot. God. I'm Roy. This is what I do. Damn. 65 and 9. 47 KOs. See, and Roy Jones is one of these people that got all, most of his losses are by KO. Anyway. Okay, it says nothing about him being under. Okay. Nope. Hey, you out, sucker. <laughs> you know, I must have forgot. No joke. Damn, Jones was never the um he was okay, like I say, he was never undisputed. Alright, y'all. So Jones, Roy Jones Jr. was never undisputed. Now it doesn't take away from his great abilities, but to me it does it does slight it does uh take away a bit from his legacy and his greatness. Think about it, y'all. Zab Judah. Zab Judah, in my opinion, was not as skilled as a Pernell Whitaker. Well, Pernod Whitaker was undisputed. Or Roy Jones Jr. Or hell, even Costa Zoo. Well, that's questionable. But Zab Judah is an automatic Hall of Famer first bid because he was an undisputed champion, especially in this era. Undisputed champion. Him and Jermaine Taylor, 2006. Last two undisputed champions. Now, after we went back and forth, y'all, my older buddy, he, um, he just assumed that all champions were undisputed like they were back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, etc. Then I had to explain to him the current politics, the mix-ups of the belts, the sanctioning bodies, mofos not fighting each other, blah, blah, blah. And he said, man, damn. He said, it's like that, dog? I said, yeah, it's like that. He said, man, boxing weak nowadays. And to be honest with y'all, I, I couldn't refute him. I couldn't refute him on that. Hmm. <laughs> And of course, him being an older man, he holds the boxers that he saw and grew up with with high esteem. So I asked him, I said, man, well, who the best boxers all time? Who, who the best to you? And to him, obviously, the boxers he grew up with, I'm going to tell you who he said the best boxers all time. He said Muhammad Ali, George Foreman, 
Roberto Duran, Roberto Duran, Hands of Stone, Sugar Ray Leonard, Ta Thomas the Hitman Hearns, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. He said those are the best boxers of all time to him. And I said, you know what, we can totally understand that. We can understand that. Well, anywho, y'all, hope y'all enjoy y'all even. Let's see what pack y'all got in the tank. I, I I don't know. I don't feel like driving to go. I'm tired. But um, be honest. Be true. Be diligent. Be courageous. Be vigilant. Be undisputed. Be good, y'all. We love both. Fighting was cool. Old men like my father and them didn't fight and shit, but they'd always be talking about fights. Like in the barbershop. They talk about Kid Gavilan, Sadly Sadler, and my father would read the almanac and wait for somebody to make a mistake. <laughs> 19 what? What? <laughs> huh? uh, 25 my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, nigga, you weren't even born when it happened. 1932. <laughs> 1925. Niggas don't even know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> they fought 55 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> there was always one name in boxing you could bring up, fuck everybody up, right here. But what if he'd have fought Sugar Ray Robinson? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, woo! You don't fuck with the sugar. <laughs> woo! Hey man, sugar fight so good make you dig hard. <laughs> huh? Sugar getting the motherfuckers ass. That's Jake Lamada. He fought Jake Lamada. Jake didn't fall. That's Jake. Jake. I didn't fall. 